Hi everyone, welcome to Carpe Diem Sailing. My name is Marco, I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor, and in today's video I'll be sharing some tips for picking up and making your boat fast to a mooring buoy. For free downloads of the diagrams used in this video, as well as useful notes and checklists, please visit our website at www.carpediumsailing.com slash show notes. And now, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is approaching the mooring buoy. Most commonly, this is done with a crew member on the bow ready with a boat hook to pick up the ring on the mooring buoy. It is crucial that the boat is stopped at the buoy and doesn't overshoot. If dealing with a strong headwind, it is the helm's responsibility to use the engine in forward gear to hold the boat as much as possible at the buoy while the crew member slips a mooring line through the ring. Alternatively, if single-handed, the ring can be picked up from the cockpit. You will need a long enough mooring line to reach back to the cockpit from the bow cleat. In this case, bring the boat to a stop alongside the cockpit. Then reach down and pick up the ring and slip the mooring line through it before making your way forward to make the line fast to a deck cleat. Since the boat will not stay stopped next to the buoy for long, especially in a strong wind, preparation is key. This is how I like to set my line up. The eye is on the cleat and I make sure that the line is let outboard of the push pit. The line is flaked on deck to prevent hang-ups and I drape the end of the line over the railing, ready to be slipped through the ring. I also always rig a lazy line. This is a second line, slack enough not to have any tension on it. Essentially, this is a safety line should the primary mooring line chafe through. I have personally witnessed more than a few boats ground from a single mooring line chafing through. It's easy and cheap insurance, and you will sleep far better knowing your vessel is secure. Here we see the two lines prepared for arrival at the buoy. I secure the primary line first and then run the lazy line. You will see this in the upcoming demonstration. We're coming up on this mooring buoy. We have a couple of lines set up, so I have a primary line. I have flaked it out on deck so that I can just run it through that ring as soon as we stop alongside. And then I've got a lazy line that I run up run through as a as a backup. So the idea is to get up alongside with the boat not moving. We're lucky this this morning that there's not a lot of wind. Uh, if there's wind it can be a little bit more of a challenge. These rings can also be a bit of a pain. The chains are very heavy and sometimes the chains actually jam up so that you actually lift the boy up. So I'm going to grab the chain and this is where it's important that if it is windy that you're, whoever's at the helm is helping you keep the boat so that it doesn't drift off with the wind. So the hard part is over, getting it stopped alongside and making contact. So we're secure, but now what I want to do is pull it up again and run my lazy line through. It's interesting to see in this anchorage that not a single boat in here on, mooring, on a mooring buoy had a lazy line rigged. A few years ago I was doing a delivery on a heavy displacement wooden boat and I 
Anyway, I was saying we were uh, doing a, a delivery on a wooden boat and I ran a lazy line and it blew quite hard in the night. And interestingly enough, um, the line, the primary line we had actually had almost chafed through by morning. So the owners were quite pleased to see that we had run a, a lazy line. If we had not run a lazy line, it could have been a pretty disastrous situation. This is what the two lines look like when both made fast to deck cleats. I typically run the lines from a cleat, through the ring, and then back to the cleat on the opposite side, one line from each side of the boat. That way, if we have to leave in a hurry, we just slip the line from the boat and we're free. See you again soon for our next video when we talk about piloting, specifically how to plot danger bearings to keep you and your vessel from going aground in confined waters.